Hello everybody, Prowl here, and I wanted to show you a pretty cool looking add-on on the marketplace that I found. And we do a little showcase of it and see if it's something that you think you would like to add to your world. To get to add-ons in the marketplace, just click on marketplace, click on the little like hammer looking thing over here. And this is the add-ons page. Add-ons can go onto any world, brand new or existing, but one thing to keep in mind is whenever you add an add-on to your world, it will disable achievements because it is a behavior pack and anything that is a behavior pack in the game will not allow achievements to be on your world. The one we're gonna be looking at today is mob armor. And I showed this to my daughter and she thought it was pretty cool. So we're gonna take a look. Basically, it looks like you can get an armor themed around a lot of different mobs in the game. You can see many of them down here on the little like showcase area of the pack and those armors will give different abilities to you depending on what type of ability that mob would particularly have. So we're going to go ahead and purchase this. It is 830 mine coins, so $4.99. And I'm curious to see, do we feel like it's worth the $5 purchase? Once purchased, we can go ahead and click the download button, add this to our list of add-ons. Okay, and I've actually already set up a world here with all the information that we need so I can show you guys, but make sure that you go to behavior packs, you go to my packs, you'll see mob armor in there. When it's, when it's not active, you'll see it down here. Make sure you activate it and then hit start world or hit play and that will have the armor add one added to your world. Again, remember it does remove achievements from your world. It will pop up a warning to let you know since it is a behavior pack. Now, whenever you load into a new world or you add this add on to your existing world for the first time, you're going to get a book in your inventory here, the mob armor guide. And if you go and look at this, it'll give you all the information you need about this particular add on. This is unfortunately the way that Mojang is given for add ones to to communicate information in game. There's no like menus and that kind of stuff that could be made. So it has to be done via a book. And this is basically going to give you a little bit of a like uh, introduction to how the system works, how to make mob essence, which we'll go over here in just a moment, how to craft the armor. It'll show you how to craft each individual type of armor. I'm going to show you that too. Don't worry. It will tell you the like item list that you need for the different types of armor. And once you go in here, it'll tell you what the different types of armor are and what effect they give, how much armor you get from it and what the durability of that armor is. We'll be taking a look at those things. And we're going to answer a few questions you guys may have too, like, can you enchant the armor and that sort of thing? So let's go ahead and let's get started with the first thing here which is we need to craft the bottles of essence. If you go to a crafting table, we should see bottle of essence. Ooh, look, these are all the different types of armor. It's super cool that it shows up there. Bottle of essence. Here we go. It's in the nature category. I'm going to click mob essence. This is your crafting recipe for mob essence. You need string, feathers, glass bottles, gunpowder and bones. And you can go ahead and craft your mob essence. And then now you can get to actually crafting your different types of armor. So the way that you're going to do that, we're going to go in here and we're going to start off with the axolotl, which gives you water breathing and speed. Go ahead and grab our cod here. We are going to go to our crafting table and we're going to place the cod in the like shape that the particular piece of armor would be crafted in. So like if you placed iron or diamonds in this fashion, you would get a helmet. When we place the cod in that fashion and put a mob essence in the middle, we get our axolotl helmet. To do our chest piece, we do this right here and we add the mob essence right here. There's our axolotl chest plate. Leggings are like so. And then finally, boots are like that and put the mob essence right here. Now we've got ourselves a full set of axolotl armor. And I wanna go through and look at and test all of these. <laughs> it's really funny looking. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look, I didn't know that. It gives you little like bubbly effects around you. And you can see that we have the status effect here, water breathing four, and we should have a speed boost while swimming, I think. So let's go down here to the water. Oh, wow, that's fast. OK, so you can see while we're in water, we have no air bubbles show up. We can breathe underwater infinitely. And when we like go to swim fast, we actually move pretty quick here. This is definitely very fast. You can see it's giving us the speed effect. We have speed five in water. So we'd move a lot faster in the water than we otherwise would. This is really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through. We're going to craft each one of these as we go, and we are going to test them out and see what they're like. And then at the end, we'll take a look and see, are we able to enchant this armor? 
Now, one more thing I should show you. We did it the hard way last time. I, I went in and manually placed it in the table. But if you go over here to weapons and armor, you'll see the ones that you can craft right here. So we have the B helmet, the B chest plate, the B leggings and the B boots. So pretty easy to go through and just do it via your crafting table. You don't have to remember all the recipes. Now for the B here, it will reduce fall damage or maybe eliminate it. Let's find out. And when we get attacked, the attacker gets poisoned. Let's see here. So if I jump off this ledge, oh, we like fall slower. Look, we get a little status effect whenever we jump. Let's put ourselves really high up in the air. It's whenever you're falling, the status effect seems to kick into place. Slow falling. Ah, so it gives us slow falling. So it doesn't reduce fall damage. It gives you slow falling and eliminates the ability for you to even get fall damage. It feels kind of cool to like jump down and do this too. I like this a lot. So let's go ahead and set down a zombified piglin right here. Ooh, this is, this is probably going to hurt. Let's give a punch. Ooh, I can't even tell if that hurt him and he killed me. We're going to try this again, but with me having a resistance effect, so he shouldn't really do a lot of damage to me. Is he not affected by poison either? Maybe because he's undead. Okay, we're trying another mob that can maybe. All right, let's see if he gets poisoned when he hits me. Ah, he does. Oh, he's not liking that. You made it. You made a bad decision, my friend. So it seems like a pretty slow poison effect. It doesn't last very long. And the fact that it doesn't work on undead mobs, on spiders, makes its use kind of limited unless you are doing it in maybe some sort of a PVP environment. That could maybe make sense. And it looks like it can't kill him either. It just takes him down to one hit. All right. Blaze armor is next. And the blaze is supposed to give me fire resistance. First of all, this looks incredibly cool. I love the way that this looks. Let's get ourselves a bucket of lava. And I imagine it just makes us immune to fire. Actually, you can kind of see here fire resistance too. Yeah, fire does nothing to us. We can swim in the lava. Looks cool and would be great for using in the nether. Next up is the chicken it will be fall damage resist. I'm assuming via the same thing as before. And then a speed, which I think if I remember reading in the book is actually a boost that you can apply. Let's get our chicken armor on. <laughs> this is so silly looking. Okay. So fall. Oh, wow. Um, slow falling five. So you kind of like, you definitely kind of like flutter down. That's kind of neat. And then I think you can activate the short term speed boost by hitting crouch. Yeah, look, here we go. And we lay an egg, which is, I guess, kind of cool. Now you can only activate that once every 15 seconds. And I think that's the same for all of the abilities, all of the armor that has cooldown. So again, if we run, oh wait, is there feathers behind us? Look, we stir up feathers behind us. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, let's crouch. It's still on cooldown. There we go. It's just a short burst that you get, but it's pretty cool. Also, you get a free egg every time you do it. Next is going to be a fun one. This is the Ender Dragon armor, and it's supposed to make us fly. Oh, oh, how do I how do I go down? Oh, it. So I know it. I saw in the instructions. If you look in the book here, Ender Dragon gives you the ability to fly. Look up to go up. Look down to go down. That's like legit. You just look up and you go up. I don't know if I like that. How would you build? Nope. No, definitely. This is this is a little wild. How far up do you have to look? It's like a certain angle, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know that I like this. How do we look when we fly? It looks really cool, but I, I don't like the lack of control. I guess that would make it a little too OP, so it makes sense. Now we have the Enderman, which gives us speed plus random teleportation. Oh, wow. Okay, this looks really cool. These armors are very well made. Oh, wow, you move really fast. Speed three. Okay. And then if we crouch, we randomly teleport somewhere. Oh, wow. That effect looked really cool, too. Again, that's a use every 15 seconds. How far do we teleport? Are we up here? That would be really good if you get yourself in a bad situation. Maybe you get trapped by mobs or, I don't know, maybe even like lava or something like that. And you want to get out of that bad situation. You could just crouch. And boom, there you go. Super cool. I like it. That's fun. Okay, next on our list is Glow Squid, which will give us night vision 
and water breathing. We already know how the water breathing works, so I don't think we need to test that. But let's take a look at the night vision effect. So as you can see, I've kind of just thrown myself in a spectator mode here really quick, but we do have the night vision effect. So a way to have night vision all the time is use glow squid armor. Definitely be pretty cool for caving and other things that you may be doing in the dark. I like this a lot. This one would definitely be worth having. Ooh, we got the iron golem now, which gives us a resistance effect. It makes us extra strong. I have cleared my resistance effect I gave myself earlier. Let's go ahead. Let's craft all the armor. Let's equip it. And it gives us resistance too. Okay, so it's a buff, but it's not like super OP. So like if I spawn in a zombie piglin right here, I give him a whack. And he gives me a whack. You can see it's, it does pretty good. It does pretty good. And also on top of that, it looks incredibly cool. We just look like a little mini iron golem. I love it. Next, we have the panda. It gives us regeneration. But as a result of that, we do move slower. Let's put it on. My daughter's favorite animal is a panda. Oh, it makes hearts. Oh my God. My daughter's gonna need this add-on now. She loves pandas. But you see, we do get a regeneration effect. It does give us regeneration two. Oh man, but slowness three. Look how slow we move. Oh man. And if you guys can see the fact that my like perspective, my field of view changes when I have slowness or like a fast effect, I think you can go into settings, accessibility. Nope, maybe it's in a video. There you go. FOV can be altered by gameplay. If you want to get rid of that effect, just check that and you'll have a regular FOV. So you do have regeneration too, which is nice, but you move awfully slow. Not sure what type of situation this would be best used in, but overall, again, something pretty cool and the suit looks really awesome. Next, we have the skeleton, which makes our arrows do 25% more damage. I don't think we need to do a demonstration for this one, but we will take a look and see what our skeleton looks like here. <laughs> looks super cool. So again, your arrows do more damage. 25% more damage would be great for a dragon fight, a wither fight. And I would imagine should give you the ability to one shot any non boss based mob with arrows. So that's going to be super cool. Next, you have the spider which you use string to make. Oh man, this is creepy. This is incredibly creepy. I know some people aren't gonna like this. Jump boost three, wow. Look at that jump. Uh, we could jump two. Oh, I bet you we could jump three blocks. Where's here? Let's just give me this. Yes, you could jump three blocks with this. That's pretty awesome. Keep in mind, you will take fall damage if you land more than three blocks. Next, we have the villager one, which will give us hero of the village effect. Again, we don't need to test this one. Hero of the village effect gives you a discount for trading with villagers. So that that's what the effect. Of, oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. <laughs> This looks so weird. Look at this nose. Okay, good for if you're gonna do some villager trading for sure. Definitely not something you'd use all the time. Next, we have the gas, fall damage resistance. Again, I don't think we need to look at this one. I guess we will just because the slow falling has been different for each mob. Oh, that looks cool. I like that already. That, that's a little weird. That's a little weird. Um, okay, this looks like it's gonna be... Yeah, it's more in line with what we had. Uh, what mob was that earlier? Not the chicken, but the bee. It's more in line with the bee. Next, we have the turtle, which we get a defensive boost when we crouch. Take a look here. Ooh, turtle armor looks really good. I like it. Let's see what our, our boost is when we crouch. Um, slowness five and resistance six. Interesting. So you go really slow, like incredibly slow, but resistance five is pretty solid. Let's see if we could test this and not die. Okay, let's get him to come over here and hit us. Crouch. Oh, wow. He does like no damage, but I like, I can't even move. I can't move. You can't move at all. So it gives you resistance, but you can't, ow, you can't move. Uh, next, we have the gold nugget, which will allow us to become a piglin and will reduce our, like it'll give us a saturation effect, making it so I don't think we become hungry at all. Let's take a look and see if that's what it does. That actually avoids a lot of annoyance if we can have that and just never be hungry. <laughs> it looks so cool. Um, okay, I guess what I need to do is make myself hungry. And then here, let's like take a little bit of damage. Oh, oh, ow. I really hope that doesn't kill me. Okay, we're good. Okay, so you see we have hunger now. 
Oh, it just fills your saturation bars. And then at that point, you should always naturally regenerate health too. This one's not very bad. You never have to worry about eating if you wear this armor. And then that means you always have natural health regeneration happening. That's really good. I like that one. Next, we have the witch, which when we crouch, it does some kind of like area magic attack. That sounds kind of cool. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh, I just did it. That looked kind of neat, actually. Um, here, let's get a mob that's not going to be as likely to like easily kill me. All right, let's make a spider. Let's attack. I don't know how much damage that does. It It's definitely not a ton because we still had to hit him a lot of times. Uh, let's test on a sheep. Oh, it killed him. Let's test it on this baby ocelot. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to test it on the baby ocelot, guys. I'm not going to do it. Next is going to be the creeper. This one's going to be fun. When you crouch, it places TNT down. That doesn't sound dangerous at all. Um, can I get away from my chest just in case? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's go in this mode. Crouch. Oh. Yep, that's TNT. Interesting. And again, it's once every 15 seconds, so you can't just do it. What if I stay crouched? Will it automatically reactivate it? Or do I have to stand and then crouch again? Oh, no, run away. Okay, there you go. There's your answer. Next, we have the warden, which gives us a slower move speed, but gives us strength. So we hit harder. Oh, yeah. Okay, this looks really cool. Oh, look at these little like warden-y bubble things around us. That's kind of neat. It gives us slowness two and strength three. Strength three is pretty strong, I feel. If we, let's bring out our spy. Actually here, we're gonna bring out our zombified piglin friend right here. I'm gonna spawn him in. Oh, it's a baby. Uh. Three hits to kill him. Or if we just do regular hits, that's good. Oh, that's very strong. You move a little bit slower, but if you're going to be doing some like hand to hand combat, that's that's actually really, really good. Two left. We have the zombie, which gives you that thorns effect. If you get hit, it will give poison to the mob that hits you and it will make you move slower as well. This does not seem very useful. All right, let's test it out. Zombie, zombie, zombie and zombie. We, we definitely look like a zombie and I do think it's a poison. So I think if we spawn in a spider and hit him, Yep, yeah, it, it doesn't um, it doesn't hurt him. It is a poison effect and you move very noticeably slower. This would be definitely like a punishment of some sort. You would never want to use this armor. And then last but not least, we have this slime, which it the description was jump very high. So how high is very high? You might ask. I don't know. Is it more than the jump boost three? that we got before. Let's go ahead. Let's let's look at let's look like a slime. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, this is maybe my funnest looking one. Oh, uh, OK. It gave us jump boost. Holy moly. Jump boost six. OK, so wait, that's that's four blocks, five blocks. We can jump up. Wait, we can maybe jump up the whole six blocks. Is that what is that what the six stands for? You could jump up six blocks with this. Wow. That is going to be very useful for a lot of different things. So last but not least, let's see if we can enchant this armor. I'm going to guess that you most likely cannot. Uh, we'll just grab an unbreaking book. Let's take a piece off. You can. Oh, wow. So that's cool. So you oh, and it gets the enchanting effect, too. If you can kind of see it glowing, that's kind of neat. So you can enchant that. Can I? I can't talk to you guys like this. You can enchant all of the armor just like you can normal armor, I guess. So you can add on protection to ones that already give you like more protection and are stronger. That's really neat. So I don't know about you guys. This is a five dollar add on. It's it's a little bit in like the mid price point, I guess. But I can see a lot of functionality in somebody's world. So if this is something that you think seems kind of cool, I feel like there's enough here to where if you have the extra five bucks, this could be worth using. It's got a lot to it. And just like anything else in the marketplace, if they update this pack, let's say the maker of the pack adds on wolf armor or 
I don't know, some other mob that they didn't do here, shulker armor, for example, things like that. Those things would automatically get updated in your pack. So you don't miss out on future updates. And there's a lot of armor types here with a lot of different effects right now. The way that you craft it, use it, make it is really cool. One of the things that my daughter cared a lot about is can I not have to kill the mobs, like the, the nice mobs to get the stuff? And you can for everything except the glow squid. You kind of have to kill the glow squid, but also if you go into a cave, the glow squid are already killing themselves anyways. So you don't have to kill any, any like nice mobs to get the armor. Cool effects. It all looks really good. I can see it being very situational, wanting to use different armors for different things. So I don't know this pack for me in terms of its quality. I give it an A plus for its quality. It's really, really, really good. Now it's just up to you to decide. Does it add enough functionality for me at five dollars? I, I can say that while it's not something I would personally use, um, I could see paying five dollars for it. If my daughter, if my daughter wants it for five bucks, she'll she'll probably get it. Let's be real. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what other packs you would like to see me review. Make sure you click the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna go bounce around now. Bye.